All right, hey guys, it's Noah here with Custom RC Mods, back out here at the backyard for another flight with the Hobby Zone Champ. There's a lot of love for this given on the channel, uh, so I thought I'd do another flight before we get uh, some sort of monsoon for the rest of the week. Today's Monday, it shouldn't stop raining theoretically till Friday according to the weather, but let's go ahead and get up in the air and then we can talk more. Um, so yeah, it's been raining this past weekend, um, so that's unfortunate because my entire backyard uh, back there behind the trees there is completely filled with water, so Obviously, water and airplanes do not mix, um, especially, of course, the electronics. I mean, the foam would probably float, but whatever. Um, anyway, this thing's flying a little tail heavy for some reason. I'm not exactly sure what's up with that. I haven't changed anything. Might be just the, um, might be just the, um, the l less material up front. Um, but you can see, hands off, it glides really nicely. Um, I did go ahead and uh, upgrade the throws on my elevator. Uh, since we last did a flight in this plane um so every time i give a little bit of elevator i think there's a little bit more action i might have to throw some expo in on, in on there um just for safety measures but hey it's not it's not flying too bad i mean it's manageable um i just got to keep my movements very sh uh slow because it does tip stall with just a little bit of rudder input which is kind of what i use for turning um but as you can see it's pretty effortless flying does get knocked around there's barely any wind at all um, okay, there's just ran in the swing set there. Um, but as you can see, all I gotta do is just give it a little frisbee toss and we're back up in the air. Again, tail heavy, I'm not sure what's up with that. Just has that weird tendency. Might be my thrust angle just a little bit off as well, but gonna move my pack up a little bit more forward, um, just like that. Hopefully, we'll be good to go. Um, there we go, that's, that's better. Still has that same kind of tail of a tendency like doing tip stalls like that. But hey, I mean, it's flyable at the moment, so. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I mean, definitely there's some things wrong with my wing, um, of course, as well as my tail section and the fuselage. They're just, cosmetically, it's in a bad shape and structurally, it's definitely barely flyable but hey i mean the thing about that really impresses me with the champ is how much of a beating this thing takes i mean i can drive this thing into the ground if i wanted to right now which i'm obviously not going to do that intentionally um and it really is not going to break i'll just throw it back up in the sky and that's something you really can't do with the larger heavier brushless builds um that's one thing that the umx series from horizon hobby has going for it um i stated in my mini mustang build that i really like uh, the heavier builds and that's true because they do penetrate the wind a lot better and fly a little bit more Consistent however, these cannot be beaten if your name of the game is durability um, so Keep that in mind as a new pilot if you guys can find calm weather to fly it This is probably gonna be a better experience for you than uh, you know going for like a mini scout or something of this size But a brushless, you know heavier build almost ran into the little treehouse there Kind of flying all around me, but lots of fun. Just bringing it down. For everybody uh, wondering about the Sport Cub S project, um, obviously it's been a little silent for the past week. Um, it was fried from the from the uh, previous seller, and he sold it as fried, so it's not like he misled me or anything. I only bought it for ten bucks, so I was expecting things to be wrong with it. Um, which they were. I did go ahead and purchase a new board that should be coming here like on Wednesday, maybe tomorrow. I'm not totally sure, but I would count on Wednesday. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get that thing installed in the Sport Cub S and do some more flying, especially here in the backyard with it, um, because that's the one main thing that I got the Champ in the Sport Cub S for is so that I can fly here in the backyard. And yeah, it's, I mean, hopefully that should be more fun. This thing is limited on maneuverability because it has a uh, three channel setup just with rudder no ailerons uh, so i'll be going ahead and uh flying the sport cabest a little bit more confidently if that makes sense because i can fly bank and yank as well as coordinate rudder and you know more more maneuverable flight characteristics just as it is being three channel versus four channel flight um but other than that you know this thing is i mean it's a handful in this little small amount of wind you probably can't even can't even see or hear or anything like that um trees aren't moving i can barely even feel it but it's coming around the house kind of at, from the south um so it's coming kind of around by the patio over there so that's why this plane's getting tossed around in my turns
But you can see this thing flies respectably, and it's, I mean, it's completely, completely predictable and easy to fly, um, even if it's a little bit tail heavy. And again, I don't know why it's, why it's acting like that. It might have something to do with my control surfaces. The general geometry of the plane could be throwing my, um, my center of lift off or something like that, but not exactly sure. Again, like I said, we're going to go ahead and, you know, redo the entire external cosmetic um, parts of this plane, like the wing and the fuselage and the um, tail section. So hopefully that's going to make it so this thing flies a little bit better. But you can see, you know, seriously, this thing is still has, you know, still flies at least. It's, it, it's, it's a lot of fun to do, um, go around, even if it's a little unpredictable at times um, with the tip stalls and stuff like that, you know. I still have control of it and I know how to fly it. Um, I would say that as a beginner, this plane would be pretty hard to pass off to a beginner and have expect good results out of it. Um, however, a stock one of these will perform really great. But um, you heard right there, that was my five minute timer. This thing can fly for a solid 10 minutes or so. So I've been flying it um, a little bit around um, here before the video. So we'll probably get a few more video uh, minutes um, in for this video and then we will call it from there. Ooh, almost hit that tree. Yeah, I've, I've gotten this thing stuck up in the trees in the backyard, obviously hit the swing set a few times. Um, and that side draft is just killing this thing. So, I'm gonna land it right there and start over. There's a slight side draft coming from over there. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this again. You can see, I mean, I can throw this in the air. It's gonna go straight for a little bit. And then it's gonna, you know, it's a, it's, it's the most ideal chuck form of a chuck glider that there really is, um, in my opinion. Especially when you get one of these new, you can launch it like a football, and it'll still fly really nice. Um, but you can see this thing is getting tossed around, even by winds that I can barely even feel. Oh my, wow. Looks like we just hit that and knocked the tail right off. Ooh, that's not good. Anyway, I mean, I guess it's to be expected, but you can see right there, just broke that tail clean off. Um, at the back of the fuselage. Thankfully, that's just a little bit of glue. You know, I'll just fix it right up, use some foam safe CA or some hot glue right there, and we should be good to go, but that's unfortunate. Um, I guess that's gonna end the flight for tonight. Birdhouse really does strike again. You can see what I'm talking about with the water back here um, in the back of the backyard. If this plane went in the water, that'd probably be bad news for this machine. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. A little interesting, um, obviously all over the place, even this light wind. Um, that's one of the more frustrating things about the UMX planes is that you have to find completely perfect, uh, you know, times to fly them. Otherwise, they're not going to fly that great. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.